That is definitely not going in the video. Can you put down your coffee cup and film this intro for the love? Oh my god. I need to go on a diet, but not till I'm done making these holiday dishes. Not a moment before then. Hey, crock pot, psh. Yes, please. You don't have to use your oven. Your oven's already busy. Like, hashtag booked. Okay, busy. You're gonna need space. So, bust out your crock pots and let's tackle these three dishes. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elise with All Things Elise. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We are gonna be tackling three dump and go crock pot recipes that are super easy and you're not gonna wanna miss them. They are macaroni and cheese, sweet potato casserole, and a corn casserole. They were all really yummy and I think you guys are gonna enjoy them. So let's get right into it. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is bring some water to a boil and start boiling your macaroni. Make sure that these are very al dente since they will be cooking longer in a crock pot. Okay, now we're going to shred up two cups worth of cheddar cheese and add our cooked macaroni noodles to our crock pot. Or in my case, I'm using my Instant Pot on the slow cooker setting. I'm adding in one can of evaporated milk. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my A half a stick or four tablespoons of butter. And the two cups of shredded cheese. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Okay, here I am adding in half a block of Velveeta cheese. I believe it was 12 ounces worth. And then I'm going to be adding in one and three quarter cup of heavy cream and my seasonings, which are salt and pepper to taste, one teaspoon of ground mustard, and one teaspoon of paprika. And this is going to cook on low for about two to three hours. If it does get too dry, add a little bit of milk in it and stir it up and it will bring everything back to nice and Ooey and gooey. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Make sure you don't skip the ground mustard and paprika. It brings it to a whole new level. This was by far one of my most favorite macaroni and cheese recipes. I won't be making any changes to this. It is so, so good. Make sure you guys give this one a try. Even if the sky is falling down. Okay, next up is crock pot corn casserole. This is a really yummy side dish to any holiday or really any time. I'm doubling the recipe. So first I'm starting off with two boxes of cornbread mix, two cans of cream corn, and two cans of regular corn not drained. Make sure it's not drained. I'm then gonna be adding in one cup of sour cream and a half a cup of melted butter, two eggs, two and a half cups of shredded cheese and a paprika about one tablespoon of paprika stir this all together and it all goes in the crock pot and that is going to cook on low about four to six hours um, make sure you check it the center should come out nice and clean it will still be soft because that's the type of casserole it is but make sure the center comes out nice and cooked i hope you guys enjoy this one and i will let you watch this play out Slow this down, my heart is screaming out your name. I'm wasted on you. Here we are, right underneath the stars. So let's get a little reckless. 
You make me breathless And I won't waste it And I promise that I as always, everything that I use and do will be listed in the description box below. I did follow recipes for this, so I will link each of them in the description box. Don't forget to check that out before you go. All right, you guys, make sure you spray your pan really, really well. Since this is kind of bread-like, it will stick if you don't spray it. Okay, the last one up is our crock pot sweet potato casserole with marshmallow topping. This one is always super good. I've made this a million times. I think you guys will enjoy it. So we're gonna start off with three pounds of sweet potatoes. You can buy them whole and throw them up. Don't throw them up, don't do that. Just chop them up and throw them in the crock pot though. A half a cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, one tablespoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of water, and then we're gonna melt two tablespoons of butter and dump that in, and we're gonna mix this all so everything is completely combined and each little piece of sweet potato is coated with that yumminess. We're gonna pop the lid on and this is gonna cook on low for about two to three hours. Once the potatoes are really soft and kind of mushy, you're gonna add your marshmallows. I used an entire package. Put the lid on within two to three minutes. It will be completely melted and ready to enjoy. You guys, make sure you give this one a shot. It is super, super, super yummy and definitely not healthy. So if you're looking for healthy, probably don't make this one. All right, you guys, I wanna hop on here and say thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. There is gonna be a few really good ones coming up that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. So you guys, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Not good, not good at all. I got stuff to do and instead I'm here hanging out with you guys. So, <clears throat> there's always that. Now what I'm gonna do is go change my shirt, change my hair, and film another intro. And you guys would never know, except for I'm telling you. <laughs>